I know many of you guys might be considering switching to Webflow, or perhaps you don't know how to code and you're trying to decide whether it's worth learning how to code or just use a low code tool like Webflow. Recently, I switched to Webflow as my main development platform. As a React developer, this is something that I never thought I would do, simply because I thought that custom code was much more powerful and efficient to build websites. However, the reality is that Webflow has many benefits. So in this video, I wanted to go over why I switched and a little bit of my background to see if maybe this could help one of you guys decide whether you should learn how to code or go with Webflow. So my background story in development, about a year ago, I decided to learn how to code. I bought a course on Python, a scripting language mainly used for data science, modeling data, and sometimes web development for the back end. The course was a four month course and with all of my excitement, I completed it within two months. After the course, I decided to take on a personal project. This involved creating a web application completely from scratch. The course offered many pathways that you could take depending on your interests. For example, they had one for data science, data modeling, you could build a game, but I chose the web app because that's something that really stuck with me in the course. During this process, I became obsessed with web development. Although my web app was quite bare bones and honestly pretty terrible, I was using Bootstrap, yes, in 2022. I was using Bootstrap for my CSS. I was completely new to web development and the only scripting language I knew was Python. So I used Django and a little bit of CSS, like I said, bootstrap and HTML to build my web application. I found out about JavaScript. I remember clearly I was trying to build my drop down menu and there is no way you could do it with Python. So I quickly found out that there is the scripting language JavaScript, which was mainly used for front end stuff. And I learned it and became obsessed. I then learned React and then the framework for React, which is Next.js. There are many other frameworks, but Next.js was one that I came across and naturally I just chose to run with it. Turns out that I really didn't enjoy the backend. So using a framework like Next.js, which handles the backend, made it super easy for me to start building and developing. I realized that I really enjoyed designing websites and building them. So I started to learn principles of design, like basing, typography. After that, I knew I wanted to start building websites. I went off to build my own personal website, which you can find in the description. It's made with React and Next.js. And also my agency's website, which you can find in the description also. And I realized that I really wanted to start doing this for real. So I asked my dad if I could redesign his business website and it went off from there. However, when I built these websites, I realized a couple of things. I was spending too much time getting stuck in code errors and trying to decide what libraries to use, for instance, what CMS, and it was just holding me back from creating websites, which was what I liked. After building the couple websites, I realized that if I wanted to start this as a serious business and deliver websites to clients, it would be hard for a non-technical person to handle their own website. And I just didn't want to manage a ton of websites. I wanted to create websites for my clients that they could update in the future other than just using the CMS. This is where Webflow came in. Webflow is a tool and as many of you know, it's a low code tool. So you have an option to add custom code like JavaScript and custom CSS to do more things than what it offers. So the benefits with Webflow are that everything is in one place. You can host your website. It has an intuitive CMS already integrated, which is a huge benefit because you don't have to scramble looking for a CMS that aligns with your client's needs and then learn how to implement it into your code code, everything is there and you can just focus on the design, which is what truly matters and development just comes easier. And like I was saying, Webflow is intuitive, even for those that are non-technical. This makes it easier for clients to go on their website and update things that they want without having to contact a developer. Another huge 
pro with Webflow is their amazing community and their company. The community for Webflow is huge. Literally go on Twitter and, and you'll be amazed by how many people are active and engaged in Webflow. That's something that really intrigued me. And like I said, Webflow, the company itself, is constantly pushing out updates and they have a huge library for learning Webflow and helping those developers out. And this is great because you know that if you learn Webflow today, you'll be good for a couple more years since it's been around for so long and they continue to push updates almost every other week. Now, there are a few limitations that you should be aware of if you're coming from code or just want to use Webflow in general. First of all, in Webflow, custom functionality is pretty limited, at least natively. For instance, animations are pretty difficult to manage in Webflow, at least for me. However, the benefit is that you can add custom code, which unlocks unlimited potential for animations. And that is something that truly excites me, which now that I mentioned, I will be creating videos on how to animate and add custom functionality to your Webflow project, since that's something that I'm already pretty good at. So stay tuned for those videos. And adding on that, the community is huge. So whatever custom functionality, there probably already is a plugin or service that offers that for Webflow. And all you need to do is add a couple script tags in the body and you're up and running with custom Webflow interactions like login panels, memberships, and all of that. The last thing, and this is a pretty big one, you have to manually add classes and combo classes to each and every element and it can get hard to manage these classes, especially if you want to go back and make changes. Essentially, if you're like me and you're used to Tailwind, you will struggle a little bit since there isn't a Tailwind equivalent in Webflow. However, the good thing is that, like I said, the community is huge, so there are a couple of existing class naming frameworks, which right now I'm giving some a try. One of which is Lumos made by Timothy, which I'll link down in the description. It's the one that I've found the most liked Tailwind. My plan right now is to learn it and to use it and maybe update it to my liking. But if you can get over that, Webflow is a no brainer for a web developer that just wants to create websites for clients and websites that clients can access and update themselves. In conclusion, I realized that the only reason that I didn't switch to Webflow earlier was because I was afraid of losing the custom functionality that came with custom code. Or maybe that I thought I would look unprofessional using a low code tool instead of building everything from scratch. However, the truth is, is that the clients don't really care how the website gets built. They just want a functional website that they can use and that will be maintainable for the future. They don't care if it's custom code or build with a low code tool. They just want a website and you're the developer and you bring it to them. So no, I don't believe that my coding knowledge is going to waste. Like I mentioned, custom functionality with Webflow is endless if you know how to code. So if you want to stick around and learn from some of my tutorials that I'll be posting with Webflow, subscribe. I will be covering how to create animations and custom functionality and along with be sharing and documenting my journey through Webflow. I'm really excited that I can now build at a much faster pace for my clients. And this simply allows me to create and design much better and cooler websites. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.